Hey everybody, orientation leader Chloe here. Um, I saw some questions about Play-Doh, how it works, and how you get there, so I wanted to make you guys a quick little video about um, how to get onto Play-Doh, like what your login is, that kind of stuff, and then what you kind of have access to once you log on to Play-Doh in terms of your orientation leader. So, I hope this video is helpful, and yeah. To get to Play-Doh, you're gonna go to westfield.ma.edu up here it's going to bring you to this page and then in this login section you're going to see Plato slash online learning and you're going to click on that and it'll bring you to this page you're going to click on the login to Plato button right in the middle that'll bring you to the Plato login this Plato is owned by blackboard so that's why it says blackboard your username is the same as the beginning part of your email so it's the first letter of your first name your whole last name and then the last four digits of your student ID number which is the, that A number um, it's A and then eight numbers that follow it um, and that A number is also your password so that's what you're gonna type in here mine's already in it'll remember for me I'm gonna hit login it's gonna bring me to this page Plato has a lot to offer for now I'm just gonna focus on this new student orientation um, class that you're currently technically enrolled in. So you're going to go here. Um, there's a lot that Plato offers, that this Plato page offers. I would strongly suggest you exploring all of this stuff, but for now I'm just going to bring you down to what your team is doing, your orientation leader team. So you'll see down here under my groups, it'll say team whatever number and then your orientation leader's name. I'm Chloe, so it says my name. Um, so I'm gonna click right on that. And then I'm gonna go to group homepage. That'll bring me to this page where um, you can see you also get access to the file exchange and group discussion board, which is also here. Um, and then you get a pretty picture of your orientation leader. Sorry about that. Um, and then you get a link to the virtual meetings that are starting next week. And also your orientation leader's email will be listed here. You also can see all the group members that are in your team. So from here, I'm gonna head over to the group discussion board. This is where your orientation leaders are going to be posting stuff for you to respond to. So for the virtual meetings one down at the bottom, um, for my group, I've posted one, uh, one meeting for or one uh, chat for each meeting my students can post any questions they have about a specific meeting under here your orientation leader should have something similar um we're gonna go back here and we have one called group discussions this is where your orientation leader is going to be posting most frequently most likely they're going to post here pretty much once a week um ask you questions that you can respond to Feel free to respond to them. I know it's kind of scary um, if you're like the first one there, first person to respond. I literally just posted one. Um, but we, if you have any questions or anything, we're, we're here for you guys. So if you have certain questions or, you know, like this discussion board is meant for you to kind of get to know each other um, and like respond to anything that your orientation leader puts out. This is your student lounge. Um, specifically for your team. There's also student lounges over here. Um, this class of 2024 student lounge is everybody that is in the class of 2024. And this transfer student lounge is for all of our transfers coming in this year. Um, but this specific student lounge that's listed under your team is going to have just the students that are on your team. So this is where you can kind of connect with other people that are in your group, uh, introduce yourself, get to know each other. It's kind of like what you're doing on Facebook most likely, um, but now you have a specific space to do that. And then this last one's called Ask Chloe. It'll say, well, it'll be ask and then your orientation orientation leader's name for me, mine's Ask Chloe. Um, it's pretty much just to ask um, your orientation leader any pressing questions. Um, you can just create a thread, ask a question, easy peasy. So the last part of this little thing that I wanted to show you is the file exchange. Um, 
this is where your orientation leader will can post um, either links to things or PDFs and stuff like that. Um, for me, I've posted three so far. Um, my first one's virtual meeting times. I did want to show you guys this just to kind of explain how the virtual meetings work. So as you can see, we're doing virtual meetings for three weeks. You only have to go to one for each week. So for example, say I'm busy. So for week one, say I'm busy at 9 a.m. on the 14th because I'm sleeping. And at on July 15th at 1 p.m., I have a lunch date. So on July 16th, perfect. I'm available at 8 p.m., so I'll just go to that because I only have to go to one this week. Same with week two. You only have to pick one of these three dates. Same with week three. You only have to pick one of these three dates. It's the same meeting being held during each week, but it's just being held three times to make it more convenient um, for you guys to access. So yeah, um, that's the meetings. And then I have a little about me page. This is me. I'm trying to get tan um, this summer. That's pretty much what that says. And then this is about my dog. If you want to see pictures of my dog, look at him. He's so beautiful. That's Finn. Anyways, that's pretty much the quick little rundown that I wanted to give you of Play-Doh. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask either me or your orientation leader that you have. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys are having a great day.